SolidWorks 2010 makes drawing creation easier and faster than ever before. The new dimension palette reduces mouse travel, simplifies dimension editing and contains the most common fields to be edited so there's no need to move the mouse over to the property manager. Adding text and modifying tolerances is quick and easy giving immediate feedback as to how those changes will look. Recent edits and predefined company standards can be previewed and recalled instantly. Section views often contain geometry behind the section plane, which serves no purpose other than causing confusion. These are usually removed by hiding the edges, but a faster and more precise way is to change the section depth, thereby removing all unnecessary detail. Detail views can now be included in an ordinate dimension scheme, so small features can benefit from the clarity of view size and the clarity of ordinate dimensioning. Now in adding dimensions, you can add rapid dimensions by using the little pop-up widget. A simple mouse gesture places the dimension either side of the drawing view. Dimensions that stack up are automatically moved to make way for the new ones and to ensure none of them overlap. Each dimension is placed with minimum effort, making an easy to read drawing fast. Notice also that cylindrical dimensions added on a section now get their diameter symbol automatically. Surface finish symbols in geometric tolerances can always be added to model geometry and then moved to look as if they are attached to the dimension extension line. This had some limitations which have now been completely removed by allowing them to be attached directly onto the dimension and moved to any location. If you've ever added dimensions to a drawing view and then realised that if you got to put on the centre marks you'll like this next feature. Order is no longer important. You don't need to re-add the dimensions or manually shorten each extension line anymore. SolidWorks 2010 automatically trims back the extension lines of all the attached dimensions, saving you a ton of rework. Notes can now be combined by simply dragging one note onto another. Dragging onto numbered items adds that note to the list, preserving the numbering scheme. Standard notes in the design library can also be reused to quickly build up custom notes on the drawing by simply dragging and dropping. Notes on assembly drawings typically give more information about ballooned items. You can still add balloon items into a note, but now you can also add any custom border to any existing text, whether it's in the main body of the text or one of the numbered callouts. Balloon sizes can now conform to specific standards. Quantities can also be annotated outside the balloon, at any location and in any format. Finding components in a bill of materials table is simple. Selecting a component on the drawing will highlight in the table or vice versa, but it's common to have the table on its own sheet. This can easily be achieved by dragging the table using the large move icon in the top left onto another sheet tab. Now you can't see the assembly, but you can easily identify which component is which with this clear image callout. Right clicking a row shows us the options which can only be accessed from that component's configuration property manager several clicks away. Here we can exclude this component from the bomb.
For assemblies, we can show, hide, or promote, which is equivalent to dissolving the subassembly. These changes are saved back to the assembly or part, so that each time it's used from now on, these rules will be followed. Editing and navigating drawing tables is identical to how you would use a spreadsheet. Type text into a field and press enter to accept. Use the cursor key to move in any direction, the tab key to move across and the enter key to move down. Hold shift to go in the opposite direction. The last release of SOLIDWORKS introduced BOM tables in assembly documents which could be reused in a drawing. These can now be compared with tables in other assemblies or drawings using SOLIDWORKS utilities. Selecting compare on the menu will automatically add in utilities. Pick which documents to compare and a field to check against and the results show which lines are different. Taking a look at the assembly, if you wish to add balloons to the parts here, they follow the assembly order by default rather than a specific bomb table. These can now be linked, so as rows are edited in the bomb, the balloons update accordingly. Drawings just got a whole lot easier. Get your job done faster with the depth of functionality in SolidWorks 2010.